Hey, John here. So we're looking at a uh, tablet here. This uh, Samsung A8, and this is a Samsung phone uh, S23. So I recently got this as a gift, this tablet, right? Uh, and I was setting it up. It's kind of easy to do. Everything's Samsung, talks to each other. Set it all up. It's basically I transferred everything on my phone to here. And uh, then I saw in this one mode, uh, when I was setting this up, that you can use this tablet as a phone and message. You know, like as a, you know, to make phone calls and messages. I don't know if it was via Wi Fi or whatever it was, and I was like, oh, that's a good idea, just in case, you know, your phone is, I don't know, charging or you left it in your car. So I went to set that up, and then this one, this uh, tablet here, uh, where was it? So right here, this page over, this uh, text, uh, calls and text on other devices, right? So I clicked that on, and uh, then I went to my phone, and uh, went to look for that button and this is a uh, like I said an S23 bought it last year or this year or earlier this year it, it's it's new so that doesn't have that uh, page so I, I, I looked at all the uh, the buttons and this tablet here has uh, this plus button right so I thought you know there's maybe over here there was uh, missing icons on the phone and uh, it doesn't have a plus button here so all these icons so I went through the phone I could not find this um, call and text uh, button here, call and text on other devices. Didn't have it on this. So then I get on the old inner tube, look up stuff, and you'd be amazed. There's all kinds of information. Uh, it's not like it's misinformation, but there's all kinds of ways you go, and then depending on how old the thread was, you know, this, do this, do that. And uh, uh, from what I gathered, Samsung dropped this on their uh, units, although I don't know what unit this is, or, you know, what, uh, let's see here. Let's go with... Um, Settings, I don't know, what would that be, uh, about, this, about tablet, uh, so s software information, so this this is 5.1.1, uh, seems kind of update, updated to me, I don't know, again, this is a gift, it was new, brand new in a box, but 5.1.1 is the uh, UI version, uh, and this one would be uh, probably probably uh, more up-to-date uh, what did I do about phone software information yeah this one's uh, the UI version is 6.0 so th that's what I'm dealing with so now I'm like oh that's a bummer because I read in uh, one place uh, where uh, Verizon and AT&T uh, don't support that so my original uh, messenger was this, and it showed up when I transferred all the information from my phone to this tablet. It showed up, and I hit messenger. Uh, I took the button away. It, it's here. It's uh, where is it? Uh, messenger. Messenger. So it came up, and she says failed here, right? And you go to send. This is I'm trying to make a, a you know a, a call or a text. And uh, I'll just resend it, show you what the text says. You got to tap on it. So you got to read it quick. But it calls and texts, another way. It basically is saying you need to turn it on your phone, on the, the calls and texts on other devices. Again, this doesn't have that. So I was like, oh, well, that's a bummer. Uh, so at that point, I, I, like I said, that thread that said AT&T and uh, Verizon don't support this, I was like, ah, whatever. Who cares, right? So then, it, before I uh, got off the internet, I did see a couple other threads, like a go around. So then, uh, and these were older threads. These were, um, I don't know, 2020, one of them was uh, 2021. So I was reading about them, and uh, whatever reason, Sam Chum, Samsung dropped this uh, item, because I, I guess it's turned off on their devices now, you know, especially uh, what I was reading around, some people with the S20 even. Uh, it used to work, and after an update, it, it didn't work, that kind of thing. Uh, so, And then I did see somewhere where you can use alternate apps. So then I thought, well, let me just try this. Because first I thought it was a Samsung app that I'd have to get. Uh, but it turns out it's a Verizon app that I already had on this phone. The phone I already had... Um, so, okay, so this was the default Samsung phone. It says set as default and I don't want to do that so this message plus from Verizon was on there and how this uh, uh, go around works is uh, because this is already on there I set it up uh, you know as default or whatever and then your messages those are all messages that I had on the uh, original or the uh, default 
the Samsung one. They showed up over there. So I thought, okay, because I transferred this phone all the, for some reason that message plus was not on the original uh, when I transferred everything for whatever reason, I don't know. But I went to the Play Store, I downloaded Verizon Message Plus, and, and uh, lo and behold, I can now use this as a phone call and text, and it works fine. Uh, so, it, where's the? Uh, so when this first came up, there was no uh, number here. It asked you to plug in a number, and it also asked you to give an address for this updated emergency thing. And then you have to click on this calling. Because at first it was just text, but then the calling, and then you add the address, and it works fine. And this messenger here, uh, you can see it's almost the same, but it's just got the number, but it doesn't have uh, uh, where it says calling, click on or off. That was the only difference. Uh, this one is missing that page because it's a phone. This is a tablet, so I'm assuming you know when it downloaded it, it knows it's a tablet. So clicking on that, boom. I am now good to go. I can, uh, like I said, make phone calls and texts from this tablet if I wanted to. Like I said, I never had this feature before. I just uh, passing along some information because I saw a lot of people aggravated that they couldn't do it with their new uh, updated phones or tablets and they were uh, just a little frustrated. So that is one way you can do it. Again, I don't know. There might be other ways with different apps. It just so happened a Verizon app, Message Plus, it works, it works fine. I, I was using it earlier, texting with a friend of mine, and I called my wife through this, and uh, everything works fine. Oh, also, um, let me check that. We just checked the, um, so let's go to settings again, and go to um, apps, right? Let's check to see what version of that Message Plus was, because the Message Plus was already on this phone. So let's uh, go down to Message Plus. Message is Message Plus. Uh, mobile data. Oh, there it is. Version 9.4.9 .9 is what was on this phone. And I just downloaded this today. I'm not sure. Well, we can't do it that way. I'm not sure if it's the same version. Um, let's go to settings. Go to apps. And uh, we'll look for that messages again. Messages. So this version is uh, 9.4.9, the same same version. So, anyways, that's what I'm dealing with, and the thing works fine. Uh, so that's all I got. Thanks for watching.